Hi everyone, uh, my name's John C. Lees. I'm an artist. Um, I make paintings and I run a, an art gallery with, with uh, secondary school children in Poole in Cornwall. Today I'm going to do a workshop uh, for hospital rooms, a wonderful organisation. I'm going to make a sketchbook, I'll show you how to do it. I'll make some drawings and I'll tell you about the kind of drawings that I like doing. So, so to begin with, I'm going to show you the, the, the materials we're going to use. This is A4 photocopy paper. We also need some pencils or pens. I, I like felt tips because they're really colourful and bold. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the sketchbook. You take a sheet of A4 paper, you fold it in half, try and line the corners up so it's neat. Uh, you, you make a pinch and you uh, make a crease and you can kind of go over that. If, if, if you have sharp edges, it folds better, the book. And then, and then you fold it in half again. And again, make sure the corners are good. And that's the second fold. And then this is the third and final fold. Now the clever part, um, or, or you know, the bit with kind of like, um, you know, origami, you unfold the book and you find, you find the, the, the edge, the closed edge, and you go to the middle and, and we're gonna rip this bit here. So you make a little tear and you can put it on, the, on a surface and tear it. You see my tear is a bit jagged, but I don't think that matters. And then you open up the sheet of paper and you fold it in half that way. And there's a gap here, you see? And you push this together and you can see that it kind of finds its own way into becoming a little book with one, two, three, four pages. So now I'm going to look, look around the room and, th and think about uh, things that I could uh, be interested in drawing. And, and, and the aloe vera plant uh, immediately catches my eye. Um, there's, there's a radio here, which, is, which, which could be quite good. I'll, I'll take one of these books and a green felt tip and I'll, and I'll, I'll have a go at uh, drawing the aloe vera. Now I'll use green, I'll, I'll use green for the pots and the bowl and, and the cup and everything. Um, because I'm not really interested in, in it being super realistic. I'm just trying to get an idea of, of, um, of it. They're a bit like um, crocodile teeth. There's lots of decision making in drawing, lots of thinking, there's lo lots, of, lots of activity, but then lots of looking. So I spend about as much time looking as I do drawing, looking and thinking. And I'm gonna leave that there for now. I, th I think that's, I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm interested in, in observational drawing to start with. So I'm gonna look around uh, the sites, look around the building and just draw things that, that, that catch my attention. So I've stopped, I've stopped to look at this because I really like the, 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 the way the tree has been cut and you can kind of see these circles. I think that's okay. I can colour them in back at the back of the studio. So I've, I've filled one sketchbook. Um, and we'll go back to the, the office and look through. Um, I like this uh, tall palm, it's really sculptural and spiky. So I'm, I'm going to draw that. When we get back into the office, the studio, I'll do a bit more. So on, on that little walk around campus, I found, I found a few things and I, I was attracted to the colour. I don't know what these are called, but they squished a bit in my hand. So they're imperfect, but they're a, 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 a great kind of uh, purple and green. And I think this is an nasturtium, I think. Lovely orange and a pod of some kind. So I might just quickly make a, a drawing of them. So I'm, I'm going to overlap. From, from where I'm standing, that's a really good shape. I've made two books and, and, and there's, um, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve drawings. And it's interesting, it's a record, it's a record of, of time spent. So, so th these two things, these two things that I've just done, 
you know, kind of become important a little bit because, because um, yeah, they show time spent and I can keep hold of them um, and refer back to them. What I, what I might do now is just, um, just go through them and, and maybe add some more marks. But you can unwrap the book and, and, and look at all these pictures together in one go. I'm going to try and pick my favourite drawing. Um, I, really like, I really like these two together. The pink pyramid and, and this crazy plant. What I quite like doing is filling in, but with lines and patterns. I'm just enjoying mark making. I think the idea of, 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 of today was to think of a simple activity, uh, cheap materials, pen, pens and a piece of paper. But what I've really made is, is a book of memories and a, and, a, and, a, um, and a record of activity. And I've, and, I, and I've been out and I've seen lovely things and I've, um, I've um, tried to notice what's, what's going on in the world. And the things that catch my eye are going to be very different from the things that catch your eye. So I hope you enjoy this activity. Uh, thank you very much.